Welcome to the tutorial for Italian Alphabet app. Uh, I'll present this using the iPhone simulator with the Retina display, but it's uh, pretty much identical in functionality to the iPad version. As well, this is the full version. Uh, there is a free version, it's so of course limited, and uh, I'll point out those limitations as we as we progress. So we'll start with the reference section, and here it's, uh, it's really quite simple. It's just a matter of choosing the, uh, touching the letter that you want to hear. F, G, H. Now in some cases with the uh, accented characters, you will get uh, something extra. E con accento acuto. It'll spell out what exactly it's saying. E con accento grave. E con accento acuto. Okay. And that covers the reference. It's as simple as that. And we'll go to practice. In terms of uh, listen and select, uh, you can skip this because I'll cover it. E con accento grave. We hear a, uh, a letter immediately spoken. And uh, because I was speaking over that, we missed it. So it gives me occasion to show you the first button, which is the repeat button. O con accento grave. Okay, and we'll choose correctly. O con accento acuto. B. M. And you'll notice that we get the uh, green uh, glow to signify that we got it correct. And uh, we'll pretend that we don't know this one. M. And you'll see what happens when we get it wrong. M. 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 And uh, as you see, uh, it repeats uh, ad infinitum. And uh, until you do one of two things, either get the correct answer or skip it. And now we'll pretend that we don't know the answer and we'll press the skip button here. And I'll just ask you to watch about. Cool. You'll see that the skipped letter has. Uh, was, uh, was signaled with the red, um, so perhaps we'll have a better chance of getting it right the next time. E con accento acuto. Finally, uh, if you look at the edit, um, if you're intimidated by so many letters at once, that's understandable, you can toggle on or off any letter that you want, as long as you leave uh, two, of course. So maybe you're starting easily and uh, have the first row only. G. And uh, of course the letters that will be called out will be confined to that, to, to the highlighted ones only. D. A con accento grave. B. D. And so forth. And of course when you're more comfortable, you can add them on. D. We'll go to reorder next. And this is, I uh, won't, don't worry, I won't do the whole thing. It would be very tedious for both of us. Um, but uh, it's simply a matter of dragging and dropping the letters into the proper order. Okay. Now, with the accented characters, um, it'll be you have a bit of a learning curve to understand what uh, what's considered to be the, the alphabetical order with accents. But um, you can know the reference, of course, is in alphabetical order as well. Next we'll go to test. There's only one test, uh, listen and select. In this case, it's different. It uh, mirrors the practice, but it's different in a couple ways. As it says here, you'll be presented with 100 letters. B. Now, watch what happens. C. There's no indication as to whether or not we got the correct uh, answer. And we don't have the luxury of the um, repeat button, and certainly not the skip button. Cool. So you, the only feedback you get is the, the progress bar that slowly uh, uh, moves across. B. And once you get to 100, no, I won't expose you to that, it'll just present you with a score out of 100, i.e. the percentage, and, um, and tell you the elapsed time. So we'll go to settings, and uh, all we have here is just the toggle for the capital letters, and it's applicable to e. all, all areas, even here if you want to test yourself with the capital letters. And finally, we'll go to the About, uh, the info page. You can, um, this is a, this very tutorial, you can watch it at any time. Uh, this is a port, uh, 
that is the, the support site that we have, or I have. Uh, you can review. Now, of course, I much prefer a positive review than a negative one, but uh, I must say that uh, this app and, and other apps that I, I've made have evolved through uh, constructive negative uh, criticism. But uh, hopefully you'll be compelled to give me a positive review and help support this uh, further development of this app. Um, and then we have uh, suggested apps. At this point, only two Italian. Um, while I'd recommend starting with the Italian alphabet, obviously numbers are fundamental to any language, so it's probably a good next uh, a step on to create a foundation for Italian. And we have Italian numbers and Italian numbers free. And uh, you can uh, download those and give those a try. Anyway, uh, this concludes the tutorial. I do hope that uh, you uh, enjoy the app and get some benefit from it, and uh, I especially hope to hear from you. Thank you very much.